Hey, Dave Sheen here, founder of Go Vegan Grow, and I'm here with Go Vegan Grow Vlog number 37. And firstly, I'm just out of bed, so excuse the hair, it's a bit all over the shop. Um, but I just wanted to get this video out to you today and keep up the consistency of these videos because I hope that you're looking forward to getting them each time that they're coming out every few days. Um, we're just after coming back from a great trip to London, so today's vlog I want to speak to you about, you know, like a vegan adventure in London. You know, if you go there or if you live there, what are the options there if you're vegan and plant-based? You know, where can you eat? Where can you shop? You know, what are things you don't want to miss out on? So, you know, we went down, it's around Christmas time now, so I wanted my son Max to experience London at Christmas, because it's quite magical, and especially Hamley's is pretty amazing at Christmas as well, and all the markets, and just there's such a great buzz there. You know, so it was a trip that we wanted to make, but, you know, being plant-based, what's important then is, you know, how are we going to manage in terms of if we're going to have breakfast, if we're staying in a hotel? How are we going to manage in terms of eating out at restaurants if we want to just buy some knickknacks and so on? So just, just wanted to quickly do this vlog, just explain again about what we did. So first of all, in terms of with the hotel, I would have emailed them after we made a booking to explain that we're vegan and say, you know, what can we do in terms of having a vegan breakfast? You know, will they provide for us? And just through a little bit of communication, that was provided with lovely vegan breakfast with, you know, beans and uh, vegan sausages and tomatoes and mushrooms and wholemeal bread and cereals and soy milk being provided and so on so it's just that communication as i've said in some previous videos so that's with the hotel now if you take restaurants london is obviously massive there are loads and loads of options but here are some of my favorites and some of the places that we went to um favorite has to be tippets tippets is just off, off oxford street it's um on i think it's hedden street or hedden lane it's called look below i'll put links in the description where you could check out these guys' websites and Facebook pages, but Tibbets, basically on Saturday when we were there, it was a whole vegan day, all vegan. Now, most of the time, most of their food is vegan, and the rest is vegetarian. So they're gradually moving that way because before it was mainly vegetarian, but again, the vegan influence is taking over and have one day a month dedicated to being 100% vegan. So check out their site to find out when. Rest of the time, I'd say 60%, 70% of what they provide is vegan anyway. And it's really high quality food, Incredible choices, like just 50, 60 different choices between starters, salads, main courses, soups, desserts. Desserts are to die for. Have a sponge. If you can have a Victoria sponge there when you're there, a vegan Victoria sponge, it is to die for. Or sticky toffee pudding. All right. But as I said, dessert or main courses, like uh, what was the one? Beef or I think beef or mushroom and ale pie. Again, delicious. All the different salads, everything. Just amazing. And as I said, really high quality pretty good price and you know just a lovely experience another one would be in camden um in spiral you probably would have seen the crisps and they've got some other products but they also have a little restaurant that's really nice you know again inexpensive pretty good quality and a huge choice you know we had something like what was it bangers and mash um myself and max had and my wife had um like a veggie burger we got a side of wedges which was delicious like really lovely spices i got a kale salad as a side which was again delicious and you can get everything smoothies everything that you could want there another good restaurant we didn't go to this time but we did have before is um veggie 222 um it's up near the olympia i can't remember the exact street but um that's really nice nice sit down restaurant as well and there's many others as well you know um Flatfoot bars and stuff like that. Another great place is on High Street, Kennington, Whole Foods. This is in terms of just picking up some knickknacks. So, you know, things whether it be like Trek bars, Naked bars, you know, they have lots of vegan options in terms of even just general shopping. So if you live there, you know, do your shopping in Whole Foods Market on High Street, Kennington, that's really cool. Or as I said, if you want to pick up some knickknacks, it could be just smoothies, shakes, anything for as you're walking around. We would have picked up a lot of things for when we're walking around and getting the tubes you know, for two days that we were there. Um, so, it, you know, it's not that hard. It just takes a bit of planning. You know, there's loads you can do. Again, it's like around Camden, all the markets, loads of options there in terms of picking up even like vegan hot dogs or vegan hot, or hot chocolates, things like that. You know, if you just want something quick on the go and just a wonderful experience anyway. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Again, that's my little summary of our tour around London as vegan, as plant-based. Um, so it's a hopefully a few suggestions for you whether you live there or will you ever pay a visitor in terms of restaurants, um, just picking up some knickknacks and I'd say what to do if you're going to a hotel and you want to make sure you get a vegan breakfast. All right, so hope that was helpful. Stay Sheen here, go vegan grow. Make sure you go below, place any comments or questions you have, share your experiences in London, share any restaurants or shops that you know of that I haven't mentioned that are in London, put them below so the other folks who see it can go and check them out. 
uh, please share share this video let's help to get the word out there help me to grow my community and please subscribe check out the other links that you see in messages around this video as well um, in terms of like checking out my go vegan grow program just let's work together the more that we can all do if we all do a little we're going to force change it's all about education and support so let's get the message out to people so they can make an informed decision all right and that way then we can all save ourselves we can save animals we can save the planet all right it's an important thing so let's all do our bit dave sheen here go vegan grow i'll speak to you on the next one